that the family of Tupac Shakur is investigating a potential link between the murder of Tupac and Sean Diddy Combs. This is coming from attorney Alex Spiro. Sure, just ducked his head. And the first bullet went in his head, so the next one's hit him. It was like he was like he was doing a break dance, trying to jump in the back seat or something. All right, y'all, grab a seat because this story is about to get real. We're diving into some serious hip hop drama that's been stewing for decades, and things are about to heat up. You've heard the rumors, the late night debates, the wild theories. But now, the Shakur family is done with the whispers and ready to take action. And guess what? They're coming for none other than the man in the flashy suits himself, Diddy Combs. Yep, you heard that right. After nearly 30 years of mystery around Tupac's death, they're pointing fingers straight at Diddy, and they're bringing in a top-notch lawyer to blow this case wide open. Let's break it down. People have been wondering for years what really happened that night in Vegas. Was it just a beef between the coasts, or was there someone else pulling the strings? Well, some new claims are popping up, and they're not looking good. Dwayne Keffy D. Davis, a name that carries weight in these circles, dropped some major revelations, and it's starting to seem like Diddy had a much bigger role in this mess than anyone ever thought. Now picture this. Almost three decades later, Tupac's family is demanding justice, and the walls around one of hip-hop's biggest moguls are starting to close in. The whole music industry's buzzing, the feds are breathing down Diddy's neck, and his empire, it's on shaky ground. But here's where it gets wild. Before the FBI even raided his mansions in Miami and LA, Diddy was already tangled up in some serious legal drama. His ex, Cassie, hit him with a lawsuit, accusing him of some really shady stuff. And that lawsuit? Settled quick. But that was just the beginning. Rodney Jones Jr., a former producer, is now coming after Diddy for $30 million, claiming that Diddy ran a secretive criminal operation. It's sketchy stuff, and honestly, the more we hear, the crazier it gets. And since those raids, more people are stepping forward with their own stories about life inside Diddy's world. This isn't just bad business. This is shaping up to be a full-on scandal that could take down the whole empire. Let's rewind for a sec. Diddy's rise to fame? Iconic. From starting out as an intern to building a multi-million dollar empire with bad boy records, he became a legend. But not everything has been smooth. His mentor Andre Harrell's sudden death in 2020 raised eyebrows. And the whispers around that? People were saying he had a tell-all memoir in the works. Then there was Heavy D's tragic death in 2011. And even back in 91, the chaotic charity basketball game that both he and Diddy organized turned deadly leaving nine people dead. Lawsuits followed. And that shadow still lingers over Diddy. But here's the real tea, Kim Porter. Diddy's longtime love and mother to his children passed away in 2018. And even though her death was ruled as pneumonia, some people are still raising questions. Her ex, Al B, sure, has even hinted at something darker behind the scenes, suggesting that things might not be as they seem. If he's on to something, this whole story just gets deeper and more twisted. And we're not even done yet. Remember when the NYPD's investigation into Tupac's death uh, fizzled out in 2006? A lot of folks thought it wasn't because of lack of evidence. There were whispers of powerful hands pulling the strings. Diddy's name was always lurking in the background. Now, with Tupac's family stepping up and directly pointing at Diddy, it feels like we're standing on the edge of something huge. We're not talking about a slap on the wrist. We're looking at a potential earthquake, the kind that topples legacies and changes everything. The Shakur family is coming with receipts, and they've got a powerhouse attorney to ensure every hidden detail sees the light of day. This isn't just a fight for answers anymore. It's a fight for justice, and it's long overdue. And as all this unfolds, Diddy's already dealing with federal investigations crawling through his assets, his messy legal battles with Cassie, and those eyebrow-raising rumors about his connections to Andre Harrell and Kim Porter. Now, add Tupac's murder back into the mix? Oh, the walls are closing in fast. For years, Diddy's been like Teflon, nothing stuck. Every lawsuit, every scandal, he walked away clean. But this time, something feels different. 
When a name like Dwayne Keffy D. Davis starts spilling details and pointing fingers, you know things are getting serious. This guy isn't just a random gossip. He was there. He knew the players. And if rumors are right, he was in the car the night Tupac was killed. So let's be real. If the Shakur family, with new evidence, and the public on their side, can tie Diddy to Tupac's murder, we're talking a fall from grace like no other. This isn't just another headline. This could be the downfall of one of hip-hop's most powerful figures. But wait, there's more to this twisted tale. Just when you think the storm's about to settle, it's like someone threw gasoline on the fire. The lawsuits, they keep coming. The whispers, louder. And Diddy's been doing some serious damage control, trying to keep everything from blowing up in his face. But you can only dodge bullets for so long before one finally hits. See, the thing is, Diddy's not just a businessman, he's an empire. His name is tied to everything from music to fashion to TV, and for years, his empire seemed untouchable. But now, with federal investigators and attorneys circling like sharks, that empire is starting to look more like a house of cards. And if one of those cards falls, well, we all know what happens next. It's not just the Shakur family pushing for answers. More insiders are coming forward, and the media's eating it up. People who've been quiet for years are suddenly speaking out, sharing stories about what really went down behind the scenes. The picture they're painting? It's not pretty. It's a world where power and money ruled, where people were silenced, and where some very dark secrets were kept under wraps for far too long. And let's talk about those secrets. Because if even half of what's being said is true, we're looking at a scandal that could reshape the music industry as we know it. Diddy's legacy, his entire brand, could be on the line. It's not just about the lawsuits or the criminal investigations anymore. It's about the truth finally coming to light. And when it does, well, let's just say a lot of people are going to be caught in the crossfire. So where does this all go from here? Honestly, it's hard to say. But one thing's for sure. We're witnessing the unraveling of a story that's been building for decades. And the fallout? It's going to be epic. Buckle up, because this ride is far from over. And trust me, this isn't the only skeleton rattling in Diddy's closet. The floodgates have opened. From former artists to insiders like Don Richard, people are starting to speak up. The industry might have let things slide for a while, but now? The dirty laundry is out, and it's not looking pretty. If Diddy's empire collapses, it's going to be one messy public downfall, with everyone who ever had a grudge lining up to throw him under the bus. So here's the bottom line. This isn't just about Tupac anymore. It's about an entire industry culture that's protected people from facing the consequences for way too long. If everything plays out like it's looking, we're about to witness one of the biggest shakeups in music history. Get comfy, because this scandal is far from over. And you know how the saying goes, what goes around, comes around. Especially in a world as cutthroat as hip-hop, 